Man, okay. She is looking nice. It is so cold out today. God, I'm not ready for the winter. <laughs> It was like 80 two days ago. What happened to that? All right, guys, so a little bit of a later start today. The plan for today right off the bat is to go ahead and sand off majority of this filler. Uh, I'm probably to go ahead and get out the orbital just to go ahead and knock down most of it, and then that way I can go ahead and redo it again because I know I'm going to have to, you know, reapply another layer of it. Um, so I'm just going to get right into things, guys. Hopefully I'm going to be able to work and fix that firewall also today because I want to go ahead and get the whole engine bay prepped and ready for primer because tomorrow the plan is to get it in primer. And Sunday, today's Friday, Sunday is going to be the plan to get this thing painted. You know, we got a lot of work to do, so can we do it? Fingers crossed. Let's get to it. Okay, it just feels way too early to be having the need to have heat. But as you guys can see, the door shut and we gotta heat this place up because it is freezing outside. Also, fast forward multiple, multiple hours, here we are. I have probably done a couple layers of body filler more than what you guys last saw. I'm just out here just sanding, filling, sanding, repeating, getting it all done. So, we're, we're almost there. This side is pretty much done. Still got a lot of work to do back there, over here, but we're pushing through it. We just went, well, we first off, we just came back from Five Guys, had to grub up, and then we just got back from Home Depot with a bunch of new goodies. You know, got ourselves some cool little grinding wheels. This will kind of help with, you know, getting in the corners and stuff like that. Because getting in that with, with, a, with your hand or whatever would be super tricky. We got some paint spreaders and some putty knives and some stuff like that. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hop right to it. Oh boy. Oh no, it's plastic, Jared. You got this. You got this. Oh! -ho -ho! oh. <laughs> Jared, get mad at it. Get mad at it. What's going on? Jared. Jared, it's clipped in, bro. You have to break the clippage. You gotta give it a good yeet. Time. Give it. A, I don't care if you break it. Just pull it out of there. No, you're just you, no. Because if you break it, how are you gonna get the rest of it out? <laughs> Come on, up. Oh. Hey! Doing a phenomenal job. Look at how damn it looks clean. Damn. Yeah. Now we. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it is one in the morning, and uh, guys, I just can't stress how gnarly this bay is going to look when we're done with it. Once primer goes on, I think we'll tru we're truly going to see how much work, and it's going to pay off. So, I mean, I'm going everywhere, okay? Everywhere. Everywhere, guys. Okay? 
you know? I mean, we're, we're not cutting any corners here. We're doing this really right, and again, this is most of all of the body fluid you guys see is gonna be sanded away. I'm about three or four layers deep on the filler, so fill it, sand it off to pretty much nothing. Fill it, sand it off to pretty much nothing. Every time, just filling little imperfections, gaps here and there. Uh, th this, I'm hoping, was our last time. I'm done for today. I'm gonna pick back up in tomorrow. I actually have a little Q&A thing that we're gonna go ahead and film tomorrow. That's gonna be part of the rest of today's video, but just wanted to show you guys where we're at, man. Shaving the bay is coming along really good. It's just, it's gonna be so fire when it's done. Every, there's no there's gonna be no visible hard edges. Everything is gonna be smooth. As you guys can see, all the transitions that there was gaps. You know, little, there was like a little valley in here gone. Same with along in here. You know, everywhere, guys. It's gonna look so good. I cannot wait to show you guys, man. So if you guys are not subscribed, just go ahead and hit that red button real quick. But I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the next morning. And uh, I am actually about to hop in the 240, sketchy trans and all, and we're about to go ahead and I'm about to grab some primer for the engine bay. I don't exactly know which method I'm gonna go with in, in terms of spraying, but we're gonna go ahead and decide on the way. And uh, we'll have a pretty decent game plan very very soon for today. I really want to get this thing primed. There is a couple things I have to do like I gotta help my dad take a couple things to the scrapyard and stuff like that so hopefully fingers crossed we'll have enough time to get somewhere today but just know I'm trying for you guys we'll get there but for now let's get some paint. Yep. This trans I mean she ain't happy. The car is very dirty I kind of feel like I should wash it but I don't really have time right now. Such a tame cold start. <laughs> so I pull up, we out here, paint masters, shut down. Guess what? They're only open till 2, it's just after 12. I mean, it's 12 15. They change their hours to closing at 12. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You know, in life, you got obstacles, you know what I mean? The homie DJ Khaled said, the key is don't panic. <laughs> We are en route, location number two. These guys are nowhere for sure open. So we ain't out of luck yet. <laughs> oh man, 180 bucks later and all I bought was primer and clear coat. <laughs> yeah, you guys now see why painting costs so much, man. I mean, just the materials, I mean, come on, dude. But, you know, it's, we, we need it all, we need it all. So this is actually just a heads up. So I got just some, some multi-panel clear. I actually didn't really need to even buy this, but the I have a brand new tin of this at home, but it's a spot clear and the multi-panel clear actually comes out a little bit nicer, less orange peely. And uh, since we're not gonna do like any body work or uh, kind of like wet sanding into the engine bay, I figured that'd be kind of perfect. And uh, over here we have some epoxy primer. You know, that way we can go ahead and put that on the bare metal and it'll be super stoked and uh, it'll even work on our painted surfaces. But this is kind of what we want to go ahead and use for the engine bay. And then we have our full epoxy activator, which is one to one, which is kind of wild because normally it's four to one. But here we are back home, man. this car so much if only the transmission wasn't such garbage all right well we are back home and for the rest of oh hang on now for the rest of today's video we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a Q&A guys uh, about the Zupra build the Z 2J Z build 2J Z Z build uh, <laughs> if that makes any sense so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and do so man Calvin underscore Molly it's in the description but I asked you guys if you guys have any questions about the build just go ahead and drop them and uh, 
might go ahead and answer it for you. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do for the rest of this video, guys. Don't be mad at me. I've been on the grind hard, as you guys can clearly see. Um, the rest of the today is going to consider of finishing and prepping the engine bay to get it ready for paint, and then hopefully, oh, hey now, and then uh, hopefully get it primered tonight as well. So that's the plan. Diving into the questions, guys, I'm not going to get through all of them. There's about 40, but I'll get through a couple of them. Rob's Photography NC asks, what kind of power do you hope to make in the future of the 2J? Um, well, I mean, every, every, everyone wants a 1,000 horsepower 2JZ, right? So, I mean, end goal, I mean, sure, why not go for a 1,000 horsepower? Morgan Alley 8 asks, is it easier to cut the wiring harness in half rather than attempting to pull it out of the firewall in one piece? The only reason why I didn't cut the harness, because trust me, I would have by no, like 100%, but we need to reuse the engine harness. That's getting sold and you reuse with the engine. So I don't want to get rid of it. Well, I don't want to cut it because then it's kind of pointless and we need a new one. So unfortunately I have to chop up my firewall. If I butcher your name, I'm sorry. Uh, Joseph Pellerani, Pellerin, Pellerin? I'm so sorry, I'm so bad with names. Any plans for the interior? Definitely, man. I want to get rid of all the crappy, nasty, old looking fabric and I want to go ahead and replace it with like some black suede. Some nice racing buckets would be awesome. However, I want to make sure they sit nice and low because I still want to retain the comfort and the niceness of the 300Z interior. It's super comfortable in there. So I definitely want to upgrade it, put a cage in it, stuff like that. Uh, not too sure about gauges. I kind of want to keep that to a minimum. Keep it mostly stock looking inside, but just a nice, clean, like racing interior, but still streetable and drivable and completely friendly. Will CX, uh, Jason F asks, will CX Racing be sponsored the 2JZ build? I know they agreed to help with the RB25 build. Yeah, they agreed to, but then I never heard back from them, and so I don't really know what the plan is with them. I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Philly Cheesesteak, 91. Yo, your name is killer, bro. What are your overall goals of the build? Drift, autocross, drag, etc. I would love to take it to the drag strip. Um, it's going to be a badass street car. It's going to take, eventually, it's going to start hurting people's feelings out there on the street. But um, no, for real, I want to take it to the track, to the drag strip. Autocross would be cool. I'd be really curious to see how the power delivery, especially the CD9 transmission, but kind of all of the above. Drifting it, you know, on the street, obviously, just a little bit of having, you know, we've got to have some fun. Reaper1642, are you going to keep the same rear end or swap it to the TT rear end? As far as I know, I think they're the same. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm going to keep the factory LSD that's in it right now. JWest57 asks, what am I doing for the engine harness? Uh, currently just going to use the 2JZ uh, factory harness with the stock ECU. Um, if you guys want to help out and buy a poster or a sticker, it'll help me get a little harness, like a wiring specialties harness or a standalone ECU, a whole lot quicker. But that's the plan as of now. Just stock ECU, stock harness, make it all work. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today's Q&A. Just a kind of a quick short one, but I don't want to make this video too long. So we'll go ahead and do these Q&A videos a little bit more frequently. But uh, for today, that's it. And mainly because I got to piss like a racehorse. Oh, all right guys, so that is gonna be it. Tune back in for tomorrow's video again. I'm sorry, I've just been super, I've been on the grind hardcore and I just need a little bit of a break. Not a break, but I just, it's hard to just keep on, especially when it comes to sanding. I mean, it's kind of hard to make progress and get new content for you guys when there's just kind of repetitive process going on to get like a final end result. But don't you guys worry because the end result is gonna be fire and I cannot wait to show you guys. So subscribe, stay tuned if you guys haven't done so already, but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good weekend, later, peace.